Hello, everybody. It's amazing how much I perk up and wake up as soon as I hit the I'm live button because y'all, if you could look in these eyes, look at it. Can you see them? Can you see them? I am is exhausted. I did just say I, I should say I'm is. I'm is exhausted. I am tired, but I could not not let to I could not let today go by without me showing my face, without me getting on here having a celebratory drink with y'all, without me showing you guys some behind the scenes footage, without talking and telling you the truth about this song. And without telling y'all, I've got some good news today, y'all. Really, really, really good news. So, uh, um, first of all, I uh, want to apologize. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't want to apologize. I make no apologies for where I've been and what I'm about to say. Um, I didn't really get a chance to heavily promote that I was going to go live today because I've been gone uh, all week, and I left Saturday on a family vacation. I live in California. My family is still in Houston, Texas. So, and you guys know my work schedule. I work a lot, which means that I have to make time to see my family. And um, and when they have me, they have me. So, as I said on my post yesterday, I was like, look, even if that means I'm absent, absent MIA on social media for a couple of days when I get back home, even though my single comes out the very next day, I have to go hard with my social media promo, then that's just what I have to do, which means I will be going super hard um, starting today on out because uh, I love my family. I miss my family. I need my family. Um, and I like my family. They're crazy and I miss them already. But we were in the woods, y'all. We were literally in the woods. So I couldn't really get on even if I tried. OK, but anywho, so that's um, that's why I said my apologies for not really getting a chance to promote tonight. So if you're here, I thank you for being here. I thank you for being present. I thank you for being for your alert, being set on your social media to know that I'm alive. Hey, Ali, I'm just calling you by your last name because, you know, I do not want to mess up your first name. But hello to all of you all that are here. I have my drink because I got some talking and I got some sharing to do. Today, y'all, let me make sure I pull this one down. Today, today, my single came out today, y'all. Smooth so. Yay! And I'm going to drink to that. Whatever you got, take a sip with your girl. And I'm going to tell you guys why I'm drinking to that because... Hello, beautiful, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Shannon, RM Shannon. I got to make sure I see that right. Hey, Tish, let me tell y'all I'm taking a drink to this because it took me a while. I remember being uh, a teenager, and this man told me, he said once, he was like, girl, you're a beast. And once you realize all that you have inside of you, you are going to be unstoppable. And it's no doubt. Even up until this point, I have been a part of every single song you've ever heard. I've I've been a part of it. However, this is the first song where I conceptualized it. I woke up with it. I came in here and put some stuff down out of my head. Um, well, no, I did that with the clouds of parting, too. I actually played the piano for the clouds of parting. But that's not what I'm talking about. This is the first. The clouds of parting was something that I just had to get out of my soul. This is a record, right? And I wrote all the lyrics, uh, the, the concept of the music I heard in my head. It literally started. It literally started. Hi, Denise. And thank you so much. Peaches. Yeah. I got something to say. And it, it literally started um, Marion Meadows, Marion Meadows. He was playing on another record and I felt like he was an afterthought to that record. And if I have, and if I've been blessed with Marion Meadows to play on my record, I wanted to do him justice, right? So what I decided to do, I took all his saxophone parts and I put, put them on this computer and just like, I went down line for line, line for line. And I said, I'm Aaron, I'm going to trust myself because I know music. I come from music. You know, I've played music. I've written music, but I've never just said, here we go. Just stay with me. And the reason why I say 
where I'm reverting back to that teenage year old Aaron when the guy said, once I tapped into everything, I mean, even with my live shows, I know what I want. I be talking to my fellas, telling them to give me what I want, but I don't, I don't, I never really take credit for anything. Uh, and I'm now beginning to do so, to own my work, to speak up about my talents, to speak up about what I can, what I can do, what I know I can do. Um, Anywho, so stay focused, Eric, because I'm not keep going. So I literally took all his saxophone parts and I was like, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to think like a DJ. Uh, I'm letting you guys into the song now. So when you go back and listen to it, you're going to hear it differently, right? So I said, I'm going to, I want to, I'm going to, I wanted to think like a DJ. If I, a DJ who, who produces music, like a DJ Khaled or somebody, right? Um, or Jay Dilla. If, uh, I know my musician heads are, are familiar with Jay, Jay Dilla, but if I could take a sample like a DJ and scratch it, er, 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 scratch it into like a song and make it something that would stand out, because I want, I really wanted Marion to be a part of his record. So that's what I did. And so I pulled out the and I kept and I kept hearing and I kept hearing and I kept hearing it. And I said, that's going to be my focal point. And we're going to build around that. So then I called. Can I give you all some? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stay focused. And so then I said that um, I made it in my, made it up in my mind that I was going to do. Because, you know, in this industry, you got to have names. You got to have this. You got to do that. And in my mind, I was like, mm -mm, this is I, 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 I thank God for Paul Brown. I'm going to tell you all about belief because belief is still killing it. Y'all believe is still killing it. OK, stay focused. But I was like this time around, I want to do me. I want I want to I want to I'm going to trust my gut. I always do. But again, I'm going to own it and go full throttle with it. Uh, from 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 the birth, from the inception to the to, to we say March 17th, released a song. So um I even put words in there that people said that I shouldn't say in the smooth jazz genre. Like, oh no one would ever say that in smooth jazz. But I'm like, mm. I'm going to say it. I'm going to take the bull by the horns. And I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to sing it how I want to sing it. And I'm going to get the chords that I want to hear. And so now we have Smooth Soul. And that's why I'm so happy about this record. Because I also designed my album cover. I designed my album cover. And check this out. I got my first review back. My first review says, I'm going to show it to y'all. Because I, I, I want to make sure you guys see this. Uh, I'm going to read it. Uh, my, my, my radio rep, cause the song goes to radio on Monday, but, uh, the, my first comment comment on smooth. Soul from a radio person from smooth soul online, it's a smooth soul radio show, uh, smooth jazz radio show, but they're called smooth soul. Online. It says, this has got to be the album cover of the year. And I do not believe you could have chosen a smoother name. I'm glad the song lives up to the image, smooth as advertised. Of course, I must add this today. It goes to radio on Monday, y'all. And let me tell y'all why that's really good news for me also, because again, I don't know if y'all have been keeping up with, with my, let me have that. I don't know if y'all have been keeping up with my comments on my my pages and my photos. I really be telling the truth on that stuff. I be telling the truth, right? I will never lie. And I'm often misread. And let's just talk about the smooth jazz genre, period. I, I am a redheaded girl who people think is younger than what I am. I am full of energy and life. And when they immediately see me or, or even read my bio on my, my resume because I've sung for a bunch of pop stars, they are like, oh, she's not coming to smooth jazz. She, she's not, she's, no, she's going to be a bit too much. She's going to be a wild child. I am a wild child, but I'm tamed. I can be disciplined. I discipline myself. I'm okay. No, look, stay focused. <laughs> okay. So to read, even, even what I have on, on my album cover, to read that, that someone just said, it's got to be the album cover of the year. I created it and I wore an outfit that is not technically supposed to be for smooth jazz. Now I'm finally stepping into doing everything the way that I want to be doing and not really thinking twice about it. And to receive these, um, these kinds of, uh, this feedback already, man, 
I'm a happy girl. I am a happy girl, y'all. So with everything that I just said, I'm going to play y'all with Smooth Soul sounding like my dear friend, Chris. Y'all know Chris. Chris, he, I consider him my musical husband, honey, my, my musical keyboardist. Chris, y'all know Chris plays with me in my live shows with my band. And um, he's just incredible. He speaks my language. Uh, I, I believe the, the smartest people, and I think you should, anyone who asks uh, any millionaire or business owner, you know, they don't try to do everything themselves. I mean, they may be the brains. They may be the, the, the genius or the, the visionary. But smart people get people who are efficient at what they do. They don't try to do it all themselves because you're going to miss out. You're going to miss somewhere. So uh, and, and that's always been my method. And I'm not going to stop having that method. And so I called in my great friend, Chris. So I was riding in the car and I called Chris. I'm like, Chris, is this kiss is uh, one of my the, the song that Marion was originally playing on? I was like, is this song in the key of another song and then Chris was like uh no he was like it's a half step off I was like well because I'm hearing this then he said hey what you, what you doing I come over I said you gonna come right now because you know when when you get these ideas you have to get them out immediately right so Chris came over to the house I put down a drum track some percussion and I started looping the um the 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 dog the, the the saxophone part that I kept hearing. Chris came right here and plugged in his keyboard, and I was like, "Give me a, huh? you know, I could hum out chords. I could tell." And again, he speaks my language, so I'm humming out chords to him. Give me, ha 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 ha, you know, or whatever it is, right? And he's like, "So you want bum bum ba ba do do do?" And then Chris gets to doodling, and then I start making up my melody because I'm hearing it. And so what you're about to see, I'm about to play for y'all. It's not the whole first part of the process because we don't got time for that because I got a lot to tell you today. Cow cow cow, I love you. <laughs> See you soon, by the way. I'll tell you about that later. So what you're about to see is uh, what Smooth Soul initially so, uh, sung so sexy. I love the cover and the song so sexy. <laughs> you, thank you for that. Because I wanted it to be, um, of course, grown. I'm cool with sexy, but I always want it to be classy. No matter what I do, I always want it to be classy. So thank you for that. Even, even if I have the boobs, little peekaboo boobs, I still want it to be classy. I never want to lose my class. So thank you for that. Uh, so here's what it, if you're watching this on Instagram, you'll be able to hear it. Hey, Jazzy. Happy Friday, y'all. Okay, look, here we go. You're right, even all <laughs> sit, sit down, sit down, sit, sit. No, lay down. You're cute, really cute. We started in the verse. We were already in the middle of that section. Well, I don't know to do it when it comes to that yeah, actual yeah. production, but 
So when you hear this, it's going to be a hit. Did you hear that? I said it. I said it. I said it. No, no, no. Let me out. You can let me out. I said, I said, when you hear this, it's going to be a hit. Yes, my love. The merch is up. I have hoodies. I have hats. Um, I have some shirts with the, uh, with some of the lyrics on there uh, that for men and for women, y'all know I write for men. So I got to make merch for men as well. Um, I got stuff on there for girls in different colors. So after this, not right now, not right now. I need you here right now. Uh, I'm about to play my song for you. For those who aren't here and who have not downloaded, downloaded it yet or pre-saved it, I'm about to play what that turned into okay i think it's really cool when you get to hear the before like the do 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 and then you hear the final process and then i'm gonna tell you some more about it but um yes the merch is officially up on aaronstevensonmusic.com um every piece of merch that you purchase will go towards completing my album um because i'm determined now i'm extremely determined i got some numbers to share with y'all that i got today i'm completely determined and I thank you for your continued support, uh, Lord. And get it. I mean, because you're smooth. You got soul. You're super bad. Oh, oh. And yes, one of the shirts says that. I got soul. I'm super bad. Because you are. Don't forget it. I'm going to remind you. Okay. But I'm about to play. Hey, Mr. International, you know I did it just for you, honey. I did it just for you. I did it for you. I, I promise you, I always try to be a woman of my word. And yeah, and I like it. Like it's bum. It's cute. It's cute. And uh, and it's you know somebody gonna be like, yeah, I'm smooth. I got some, I'm smooth. So you know, but go look at it. One of the shirts says, "Truth, no lies, no reason or rhyme." Smooth soul. And the other one says, "I got soul. I'm super bad." Uh, smooth soul. So go check it out. I got sweatpants and a sweatshirt with a hat to match. Yes. Okay. So now I'm about to play again. The merch is at AaronStevensonMusic.com. And just click on official merch. But for, again, I want you guys to hear the song in its entirety right now where it came from. Um, because Lord knows I'm excited about it. Here we go. <laughs> Shake it loose. 
Robin. Yes, my song, y'all. There is an extended version. It goes a little longer, but that the extended version is going to go on the album because at that point, we just grooving. We're just having a good time. You just let that sucker ride and you be smooth with it. <sighs> but I tell you what the end says. Cool. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to express that in a second. Cool, calm, positive with love to give. Smooth soul. Quiet power mm, takes me high. Smooth soul. That's my kind of guy, y'all. I like shy guys. I'm so misread because of my, um, because of my, what's the word I want to use? My natural energy, my, uh, my mouth, because I talk a lot. <laughs> my, I'm an extreme extrovert as well as an extreme introvert. And I blame it on the Gemini in me. But um, I like shy guys. I like quiet guys. I, I like, I, and when I say quiet guys, not like, mm, I mean, like, I like quiet power. I like men that walk into a room and say nothing but commands it all. Like, that's sexy to me. That is attractive. I mean, do your thing, no doubt, and no shade to anything other than I'm just telling you what I like. I like smooth soul. You know, uh, I like guys that are about it, who don't talk about it. Just just exist and be bold. Do what you do. That's what I like. Presence, yes. I like the presence to be felt, not heard. But when they do speak, mm, 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 that's what I'm attracted to. And most guys think that I'm attracted to like... uh. Hey, baby girl, I was just talking about you, sissy. I, I, I was telling about my family trip. So now I got to go extra hard with my promo because uh, look at my eyes, girl. Look at my eyes. Red. And sissy, I said I ain't drinking no more after the night. <laughs> That's my baby sister, y'all. I call her sissy. I'm not drinking no more after the night because we had a great time on our family vacation. And I said I wasn't drinking no more. But I ain't drinking no more after tonight. And I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. <laughs> so stop the madness. <laughs> hey, Sean, Mr. Dancy. So, yeah. And so that's what smooth soul is about. I'm going to tell you the words. And so you'll understand why I called it smooth soul. I'm just going to, I'm not going to speak through them, but I'm going to speak, speak through them because I care because I wrote the lyrics as well. And I want you to know what I'm saying. Drinking no less either. That's right, brother. Drinking no less. Mm -mm. Just a little Jack Daniels tonight to celebrate. Okay, stay focused. So it says, I'm lost. I'm lost in the groove of you. Now, this song is also about the kind of music I sing. I've, be I've begun, aside, again, Gemini. So aside from talking about a guy, this is also about me and my love for music. Uh, I am lost in the groove of you. Music, it gets me. I'm caught up and I can't seem to shake it loose. Every time I try to quit music, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried to quit. But every time I try to quit and run away from what I know I'm called to do by God and my purpose, every time I try to call, I will go get a job. Y'all know I used to work for NASA. I will go and get a job. And so, and, and now I'm talking about after NASA now, because uh, y'all know the story about NASA. I don't have to tell that again. However, so since I've been doing music ever since, for those who don't know, I haven't had to look back. That doesn't mean it's easy. That doesn't, I'm not saying that to be proud. I'm saying that to say not to give up. Um, so whenever I felt like getting up and giving up and I was like, let me go get a job because this is getting, this following your own dream thing and financing yourself thing. It's tough. It's a lot. So I was like, mm -hmm. and then I'm not touring anymore because nobody wants to hire me anymore because they're all supporting my own individual career and they follow me and they see what's up. So they don't want to hinder me. So they won't hire me. No one wants to put me on tour anymore because they're like, Aaron, you're doing great. And I'm not going to be the cause of you not making it. So I'm like, I'm going to go get a job. And as soon as I get a job, I get an email. I get a phone call. I book a show. 
And now that I have consistent shows, I have a band. I have fellas who play and support their wives and girlfriends and children and themselves. You know, they play for other people, amazing people, but they show up when I call every single dog on time. So it's not even about me anymore. So me going to get that job that's going to take me away from them is almost like giving up on them too, because they sacrifice for me as well. So when I say, and I can't seem to shake it loose, I can't. Every single time it's like, hey, so Aaron, you've got the job. Brr, hold on one second. Hey, Aaron, can we book you for blah, blah, blah? You got to pay attention to those signs when they come. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. That just means to keep going. I'm not even where I want to be yet, but I'm going to keep going. Back to the lyrics. I'm lost, lost in the groove of you. I'm caught up and I can't seem to shake it loose because I want to stay the page at. Mm -hmm. I quiver when I hear you speak my name. Whenever I hear music, it's literally like, hey, Aaron, come here. And guess what my demands do? I come. <laughs> okay. Y'all know I'm real. Don't, ex don't expect anything different. Yep. Don't expect anything different out of my good country self. Okay. I come. And then it says wicked emotions. Because emotions are wicked, right? It's hard to control emotions. It's hard. I mean, you have to be aware of them, but it's hard to control them. But I think... I think they're easier to control once you're aware of your emotions, but they're still wicked because them suckers just happen. So wicked emotions, sweet surrender has no shame. It doesn't. Surrender has no shame. Surrender does not care. All surrender cares about is you surrendering to it. And for me, whether I'm broke, tired, sleepy, hungry, lonely, keep going down that list. Guess what? Music doesn't care. Guess what it says? Come to me. Surrender. It ain't got no shame. And whatever you're doing in your life that you love, I'm sure it does the same thing to you. Whatever that dream or that goal, or if you're already there, it's because surrender won the battle. The, the, the surrender, surrendering, surrendering to your purpose, surrendering to love won the battle. It had no shame and it was not going to give up. You were going to lose that fight. And then here it goes. Smooth soul, Aaron Stevenson. You're the quiet kind, music and guide. Only truths, no lies. I will only sing truth. I will only sing my truth. I will write my truth. If I can't feel it, I will not sing it. Same thing about, about, about love. Uh, again, I'm one of those kind of women who prefer the truth. Like, tell me so I can know what I'm dealing with. Tell me so I can make my own decision. Don't make no decision for me. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie to kick it, okay? <laughs> Only truths, no lies. No reason or rhyme. I love spontaneity. Sometimes I think we think too much into things opposed to letting well enough be well enough. It is what it is, and that is okay. I think sometimes when we start making up reasons why, we're literally making up reasons why, and then we try to make that reason why, the thing, whether that be for love, your job, I don't know, pick it, romance. Sometimes it just is what it is. And exist in that space. That's a cool space to be in, by the way, because there's no expectations. You're the quiet kind. Only truths, no lies, no reason or rhyme. And I am beguiled. Ugh, that means I'm I'm bewitched. I'm in a trance. Like, eh, hey, you got me. <laughs> you got me. You're so smooth. Oh, the voodoo you do. You got soul, baby. You're so bad. I mean, no, the person says, oh, you're bad. It's like me recognizing, like, like you're a bad man. And I like it. Oh, I did. I said it. I said it. Woo! I, it's something about a, a man and music. It's something to me about a man that's just cool. That's just ah, smooth with that thing. It's so sexy. Like, uh, anywho, music, 
It's what I sing. I began to brand myself as your smooth, soulful songstress. And that's where I'm going to live. When I was younger, you know, and I, I've said this before, my first album was all over the place. And that's because I had to get it out. Um, I had songs in there from my early 20s, even maybe one or two from my teens. But not that I care, because when I was younger, they said I wrote to mature. Anywho, but I'm just saying it was my first baby and things that I had to get out of my system. And it, it was going to make the album. Um, but now I figured out where I want to live as an artist, uh, and some, some good praying, some good soul searching and saying, because it's the music business. It's the music business. Can't forget that part for all my music people on here. We're artists, but it's still the music business. I went to college for communications and for marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. And that's where the duality of it all gets on my nerves because I just want to sing. If I want to sing rock and roll today, I want to I want to sing rock and roll. Why? Because I can and I feel like it. And if I want to sing, you know, today, that's what I feel like doing. However, the artist, the brain, marketing, it's still the music business. So artists don't forget about that along the way. Do what you got to do. Find your thing and then you can you know, morph a little bit. But man, once you find your lane and God knows I have found mine, I said, I'm going to mat. If you saw my post today, I said, I'm going to mash the gas and then hit cruise control. I found it. I know where I want to sing and live as an artist. I'm going to mash the gas on this smooth soul lane. And then I'm going to hit cruise control and ride that sucker out to God decides to call me home. Okay. So Smooth so. Then the second verse says, I'm possessed. I hang on every word you say. Any promise that music gives me, I hang on it because it's my hope to keep to keep going. Uh, and again, to not give up. When I was talking about that phone that, that rings, I hang on. When, when that call comes to say, Eric, and you and your band, that's me hanging on to the promise. And that 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 it's one step closer, one step co closer to, to breaking through that door. I'm possessed. I hang on every word you say. The nearness of you, because I'm so close, it takes my breath away. How many times have you just been in the room or been in your zone and you turned your favorite song on and you're like, ah, uh, and you zone out, you're in your space. That's what it is for me. The nearness of you takes my breath away. Ooh, I'm drowning. Deeper and deeper I fall. That means I'm losing more and more control of this thing. But that's not a bad thing because I feel like when you're operating on your purpose, you're supposed to surrender and let God do what he does. I said it. You should be drowning. You should be drowning in your purpose where you almost feel helpless and you're allowing God to do what he does. Because when you in the way, when you step in the way, you're interfering with the with, with whatever the master plan is, right? I often find oftentimes find that when I'm performing, when I start thinking, I sound terrible. But when I just say, Aaron, whatever comes out, comes out, move how you want to move, say what you want to say. Everyone seems to have an amazing time, but that's because I'm not in the way. I'm drowning deeper and deeper I fall. Resistance getting weaker and weaker. I'm willing to risk it all. I will show y'all my bank statements, but I'm not. <laughs> Talk about risk it all. My boo! My boo boo! Hey, girl, you know I'm kissing you. You know I'm kissing you. So when I say I would show you my bank statements, because um, uh, I, I'm sure there's a lot of entrepreneurs on here or whatever it is you've been going after in your life. When you're investing in yourself or taking that chance, man. But I know for me, I am willing to risk it all. Apparently, here I am. I just told y'all nobody want to hire me no more. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I am okay. Because it turns out that whenever they want me anyways, I've been booked. And to me, that's um, 
again, back to what I said earlier, that hope. I've, I've received calls and and such, but, you know, along the way and when they come, I've just been booked up. Even with my friends, I have friends who want to do shows, uh, want me to come in and sub or to help because y'all know I'm a walking and musical encyclopedia when it comes to lyrics and, and singing different genres. But I'd be booked up on the dates they want. So things are changing. And, and I'm learning to embrace them because it's what I wanted. Be, care be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. And so uh, that's that's literally where I, I am in my life right now. Where I'm having to embrace this new phase that I'm walking into because it's not exactly who I am. I'm not an abrasive person. I'm not a mean person. Uh, and, and not that you got to be mean or any of these things. I'm just used to like, la, la, because it's me. But now I'm, I'm having to become even more responsible for others and making sure that things just go right. Um, yeah. And being a bit more assertive because I have to be. Not that I mind. I don't mind being assertive in, in, in different types of situations. But uh, when it comes to business, you know, being and, and I see how easy it is for women to be called bitches in this industry. No shade. Just saying I get it. Because when chicks know what they want, how they want it, when they want it and demand it. You're easily labeled a bitch opposed. And, and then that's why, you know, you hear the stuff about how people are like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. Just get it to me. We'll be good. You know, I'm learning how to be that person because I'm not that person. So, whew, anywho, back to the music. Perry, I'm so proud of you. I see everything that you're doing, brother. Out there killing it. Out there killing it and being amazing. So, here we go, back to the lyrics. No matter who's in view, that means NASA, that means some other jobs, uh, uh, whatever job I could go and get. No matter who's in view, or let's go back to love. There's always somebody finer. There's always somebody richer. There's always somebody sexier. There's always somebody who's going to say the right things. There's always that person or those people who are going to show up and be like, God, ooh. Maybe I moved too soon. <laughs> wait, whoa, wait, who are you? You know, it's always, 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 always going to be. No matter who's in view, the rhythm pulls me to you. Because it just is what it is. Because no one's ever going to be him. No matter what they are, finer, richer, anything else, they're just not going to be him. And for me, a steady paycheck just isn't going to be a stage. No matter who's in view, the rhythm pulls me to you and no other pleasure will do. I'm your fool. I'm officially a fool. And it's cool because you're so smooth. Hey, and I don't do, ooh. The voodoo you do. Ow! You got soul, baby. You got soul. And then you got to say, you're super bad. Yeah. So that is my song. And then, whoo! And then, and the background's coming and saying, quiet, yet kind, so shy of my kind. I like shy guys. Truth, no lies, no reason, all right. I said, oh, it's true. I'm your fool. That's like me saying, oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. Ain't no denying. Oh, it's true. I'm your fool and it's cool because you're so smooth. Oh, oh, I'm a sucker for it. I am a sucker for a smooth man. That's right. And I'm super bad. Uh, I got Brit, Brit, Brit. And you know, when I was, when I was designing the merch, let me, can I say some thank yous really quick? Cause I don't want to make this sound like this is all about me. May I say some thank yous really quick, please? Okay. 
don't go because I want you to hear these names. I want you to hear these names. And I'm going to start with the merchandise. There is merch up now. Uh, I designed some as well as Jay Oppington. Jay. Y'all know my Jay. Jay designed some as well. And what made me say, let me start there is because, um, you know, the, the shirts say, uh, again, I'm going to repeat it again. Truths, no lies, no reason or rhyme. Smooth soul. Jay designed that. Um, the other shirt says, I got soul and I'm super bad. Yeah, I designed that one. Teamwork makes the dream work, man. Um, and a lot of the promo, even the video that I played earlier of the full song, Jay did that for me. Jay is amazing. Um, and before I move forward with thank yous, I want to take a second because people who follow my soldiers. Oh, second. Merchandise is on ericstevensonmusic.com, my website. And just click on official merch. It's all there. Different sizes, different colors for male and for female. Just go have a look and thank you for supporting because trust me, it goes back into making all of this happen. Um, a moment, I'd like to take a quick moment before I, I go any forward, but any further, but please don't go because again, I want you to hear these names that I'm about to say. They're important to me and I, and I hope they're important to you. But uh, since I've been going live more so with my Naked Truth Thursdays, we've become a family. And my soldiers, I, I know you care. Um, Jay lost his grandmother who lived eight houses down from him. And today is the first day of his life that he's had to go without seeing her. Um, also, Mario, my dear Mario, lost his father. Everyone knows who Mario is to me. And he lost his father. Um, also, our dear Daiwan, y'all know Daiwan. He hasn't been on in a second, but he's still very close and he sends me messages all the time. But Daiwan lost his father as well. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, if you would, and you will, when we log off, we don't have to do it right now, but, you know, just send a little prayer up or a little hug for our friends, Jay, Mario, and his brother's on here too. Mario's brother follows all the time. Michael, he's on here too. They lost their father. So, um, yeah, just... Say a prayer for them and for Daiwan, our, 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 also one of our soldiers. So say a prayer for him, okay? All right. Um, just for their hearts and for comfort, please, for me, for them, for us. All right, so back to my thank yous for this record. Y'all, I have officially reached 10,000 monthly list listeners. I got some thank yous to give. Smooth so. Oh, I'm so excited, okay? Um, so... Back to thank yous. Um, as you heard me say earlier, it's already being received by radio. Believe is being played on Sirius. It's being played on Sirius XM, and I, yeah, I get messages every day about this record still being played. So back to my thank yous to my label, Intervision Records. I literally got everything that I prayed for, which was a strong independent label. Uh, who would allow me to be me and support me. Um, and I'm I'm really cool and I'm happy there. So shout out to Intervision Records, the guy who works my radio, because I know I'm not the easiest sell in this genre. I'm a black girl with red hair singing smooth jazz and in my 40s, okay? Just coming into the game, switching over from being the professional background singer to Aaron, the artist and producer and singer and songwriter. And now... We've hit the billboard charts, which believe made the billboard charts. I think uh, it topped off at number 30 um, on Smooth Jazz um, radio airplay. And now I can only imagine what Smooth Soul is about to do. So shout out to Adam Leibovitz, um, who signed me to the label and who said, Aaron, just go be great. Just do what you do, Aaron. Um, so that's Adam Leibovitz, who, who works radio for me. Um, also, Jay Ockenden, who see, you see him do a lot of the promo that we put out. Um, and again, help me design the merch. That Jay is a gem and a half. Um, 
to the Sundial agency who's signed on to help me with a lot of my marketing. So those flyers that you see with the dates on them and stuff like that, because y'all know I'll be all over the place. That's them helping me stay focused so I could be an artist because I really want to sing. I want to perform ah, and being here producing songs and stuff. So, so the Sundial agency. Um, there's also, I got my list because I, I didn't want nobody to say I did. Stratus services is who are helping me with my digital stuff. My Spotify numbers, listen to this. My Spotify numbers have gone up, if this is even possible, it is. 576% in the last 30 days. My Spotify numbers have gone up 576% in the last 30 days. So y'all, please keep streaming, share my music. God, I thank you. I really do. Thank you. Because these days, the um, numbers matter. Um, I have to say a massive shout out. I haven't given her enough credit. I mean, I always give her credit, but... In regards to what's happening now, I haven't given her enough credit. On those beautiful photos that you've been seeing of me, with this face and these big old teeth and these eyes, y'all, it's my best friend, Carrie. Carrie takes the photos um, and she has, you know, did my makeup, helped me do my hair. Um, so y'all, Carrie is still there. I know you don't see her online as much. She's back in school getting her master's, but trust me, that's my best friend. She, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so when you get a chance to show her some love, um, so those, those photos in the black that you've been seeing, she was the photographer and also did the makeup and the hair for that. That's Carrie y'all. And yes, you know, we used her makeup because she has her own cosmetics line still. But that's Carrie V. Um, uh, who am I missing here? Who am I missing? No one. I have to say uh, two more thank yous. Please stay. I have a special group. And no one knows who they are but them. And I call them 1315. I go to my 1315 for just about everything, especially when we get tied up because um, you have to step outside of yourself sometimes. When we, I know a lot of artists such as myself, we get attached to things. And you, in order to give the people what they want, you've already given them you. I'm always going to give you me. But to give the people what they want, you know, I always have to say this or that sometimes when I, I have a special group called 1315 that I trust because uh, I know they know me. They understand my brand and they support me to the 1000th power and they tell me the truth. So shout out to my 1315. And last but not least, I call them my menses. And that's Mario and that's Greg, my consultants. My booking agents, my sound engineers, my stage managers, my managers, my, uh, <laughs> keep going. What else? What else do they do? They do some of everything. Okay. Um, and, and people always ask me, Aaron, who's your management? Do you have manager? I don't. Who's your booking agent? I, I have people who believe in me. And to me, that's priceless. Period. My menses believe in me, and I couldn't ask for anything more. Now, if something else comes along, that does not mean we don't want anything to come along to usher. I mean, to elevate us to that next level, because there's levels to this for sure. Oh, yeah, we want it. We're not working this hard for nothing. Um, so, you know, um, again, tour, everything else. Looking at it, hey, more shows. Get us out. I'm ready. Let's go. But, um, you know, just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the people that I have around me. Uh, and I hope y'all got those names. Now, in regards to this song, uh, I, I show what I did here in this room and what Chris, you know, came in and did. And of course, Chris is playing on the record too. Um, there's a guy by the name of David P. Stevens, who's, I, I forget whenever he is on Billboard right now, but who co-produced this track with me and working, work, I'm going to, I'm going to interview him next Thursday. So you get to talk to him and meet him next Thursday, but he's been nothing short of pleasant. When I say pleasant, he was so pleasant to work with. 
you know, I told him my ideas and what I wanted. He just do it. And if he had an idea, it was amazing because he's amazing. I said, do it. And um, just a cool experience, man. He's hey, David P. Stevens is smooth. So, um, of course, Marion Meadows, who to me is a personal blessing because he is the Marion Meadows. Done. Nothing more to say. Look him up. He's a godsend. Um, Kevin Teasley, KT, K Teasley, he did the mastering. I'll tell you about y'all about that when I interview him too. But he's in Europe right now on tour with uh, Rosalia. I think that's her name. I, I hope I think that's how I say it. Rosalia, Rosalia. Um, but he's in Europe with her. However, you know this is the same guy who did the mixing and mastering for just about anything you can name. But he's a friend of mine. We met with uh, Jennifer Lopez when I was working with Jennifer. And um, again, friends who believe in me and, excuse me, and I never call in my friend, my homie hookups. I don't, unless I know it's time for them. Um, and when I know I really need them to, to, to take me to that next level. And if you like the way this song sounds, it's because Kevin Teasley, a friend of mine, I humbled myself and I called. He answered. It was like, it's about time you called. That's what he said to me when I called him. He said, it's about time you called. I had to answer. Your name came across my screen. What you need? Mm. And that's why this song sounds amazing. The Elvis Presley movie, uh, he did the music for that. The Elvis movie, he did the music for that. There's a whole massive list. I'll go down that when I interview him too. Mm. And then he turned me on to a guy who does mastering. He was like, I can master it, but I'm going to one up you, E. And then I went to the Doja Cat, uh, Sam Smith, all these people. The guy who mastered this song, his name is Dale Becker. Becker, Becker Mastering and Engineering. They mastered this record. So when I say this song from top to bottom, as you guys have heard, has been nothing short or less than a godsend for me and a level up and easy. Uh, and when I say easy, that does mean a lot of work. <laughs> that just means no pushback. That's when I know, you know, it's supposed to it's supposed to be. But I think that partially has a lot to do with me surrendering to myself. And owning who I am and what 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 I have up here and what I have here, owning it and just saying, do it. Don't question it. Don't second guess it. Don't think no one's gonna take you seriously. Don't think, oh, just be humble and sit on the side, oh, uh, and just say what you want and then don't own it. No, I'm owning it. And I think all of that has a lot to do with it because I just told you I humbled myself to call my homie. Um. So yeah, man, those are my thank yous I'd like to give today. Next up will be my Grammy speech next year. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> just, but they don't, don't put the horse before the cart. Wait for it. Anywho, it's just release day. So I want to, wanted to also share with you guys, this, Spotify has added it to Discover Weekly. which means more streams. <laughs> I keep telling y'all it's levels to this and I want to thank each and every single last one of you. I will replay this video. I'm going to put it on all of my social media um, and I hope you watch it. I'm going to play the song again at the end of this, but, but, but what I want to do right now is uh, show you a 20 second, because um, the music video has been shot. And I want to show you like a 20 second snippet of what it looks like, okay? Y'all ready? If you're watching this on Instagram, you won't be able to see it, sorry. But I'm, don't go anywhere, I'm not going anywhere. It's just gonna play over here, okay? So this is what the music video looks like. And don't leave, because I have something important to say to you, okay? How do I make it bigger? Oh, that's as big as it's gonna get for me? I think so. 
Yeah, that's as big as it's going to get. That's okay. It's a teaser. So this is what it looks like a little. That's all you get. That's all you get. I made sure to cut that sucker short so you couldn't get too much of it. But yeah, y'all know. I'm excited about it, y'all. And um, so what I wanted to say to you is that um, Tish, Danilla, Britt, Diva, Calissa, Mr. International, I always said that wrong. Hey, Shawnee boy, Deroxbury, I know I said that wrong. Riley, hey, Linda, and Gray, Gray Trials. Okay. I'm saying hello to all of y'all, man. My dear Jay, you did get to log on tonight. Peaches, Mario, Andre, Andre Johnson, hey, you. LaShandra, did I say that right? Yeah, LaShandra, hey. Y'all, I think each and every single last one of you and everyone who's going to watch this tomorrow or even later tonight, because it's a lot. Again, I didn't really get to promote, excuse me, that I was going to be on tonight. I was with my family. Um, and before that, y'all, I'm so tired. Like before you got left, I had a show. Uh, two nights before that, we ended up in the emergency room with Leroy. Leroy had to go to the emergency room, y'all. That's my dog, for those who don't know. Leora is my baby. Don't play. Mm. Yeah, and so then I, I partied real tough <laughs> with my family in the woods and came right back and uh, had to get to it because the single came out today and I got back yesterday night. So nonetheless, guys, thank you for logging on. Um, you got me because you, you, you have to get me. I have to get back to... Artist Aaron, promo Aaron. Merch is up, AaronStevensonMusic.com. Every single dime you spend will be sent, put towards completing this album because it's done, but as you see, it costs. <laughs> but nonetheless, I just want you to feel good in what you have on. We were, uh, per we were particular in what we put on the shirts because when you wear it, I want you to believe it. I want you to believe it. Um, different colors, again, for male and for female. I thank you for downloading and pre-saving this song because, again, it matters. Um, as I also mentioned, this is the first time that I'm trusting every bit of me, not a part of me, but every bit of the creativity that's inside of me. I thank you for all the thank yous for the names that I mentioned. And I'm going to log off now and go to bed because I'm sleepy. That's a lie. I have a lot of you guys to respond to. And then I'm going to fall asleep with the laptop in my hand doing like this. Responding to all the beautiful comments that you've left me. Hey, boy. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. And um, I have to work tomorrow evening. But go get your merch, represent your girl, share the song, take pictures in your merch. I want to see it. Share it so I can share it and share you. And you have no idea. There's no amount of thank yous or words that I could say to express how I feel about you. Period. Other than I love you and I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, y'all have an amazing night. Sleep well. Play the song. Turn it up. Put your headphones in and let me sing to you. OK. OK. Have a good night. And next Thursday, I'll be live again. And it's going to be good. Trust me. Set your alarms Thursday. Thursday. OK. Good night. I love you guys. Stream, share, play. Bye. <laughs> okay. Good night. For real, because I keep talking.